right now, the question is, much like Wikipedia, uh, which ex the technology existed for six years before anybody really put it all together to build something huge, I want to ask ourselves the question, what technologies exist or nearly exist, like Wiki uh, for text, six years before the world takes notice? What's going on right now with young people online uh, who are playing with video, who are doing uh, all kinds of different things uh, that hasn't coalesced into anything coherent or that any of us would recognize and say, wow, that is really huge. And also, if we tie prediction one and two together. Now, mainly in prediction one, I talked about the growth of broadband uh, in the developing world. And that just means the next couple of billion people having the kind of internet access that we have. Uh, but the other aspect of that is that as we're rolling out real broadband to poor places in the world, we'll be rolling out nearly unthinkable to us prehistoric types, bandwidth to teenagers in wealthy countries. I recently caught myself sort of thinking about um, how, how much bandwidth do you need to, uh, to stream video in real time, i.e. from Netflix? Well, I can do that now. And I thought, well, how much more, video, how much more bandwidth do I really need? I mean, why would I possibly want to be able to upload 10 video streams at once from home? Well, that's because I'm an old man who's not thinking about collaboratively sharing with uh, all my teenage friends uh, some video project that we're working on that we can work with as fluidly as we can work with text or uh, uh, JPEG images or what have you.